If all you're doing is watching my latest video uploads, you're missing hundreds of videos Green Wacky has. I'm a live streamer, but I have comedy skits like Saturday Night Live. I've got over 30 music videos like Weird Al and Crazy Stuff, how-to videos on cars, boats, motorcycles, random videos. I've got how to do YouTube right, how to grow your channel, how to do computers, OBS. I've got it all. Playlist, playlist, playlist. All right, guys, I'm going to call this a viewer request. Cab 7, I always wanted to see my tire machine in action, and I've got some dually tires I'm changing. I picked up, check this out, four tires on Chevy Rims on Craigslist for 60 bucks. All right, let's get to it. First thing we got to do to change these is we got to let the air out. So, valve stems, right? You want to sit there and hold that to let the air out? No way. This tool right here, you get them at the store, they're like two and a half bucks. Valve stems actually come out of the middle. They screw out, actually. Check this out. First time I didn't take this tire off the Chevy rim, because it's going on the dually rim. First thing we had to do is break the bead. So, tire goes on, there's a little notch thing that holds it on here. Then we got this, the spinner. Holds the tire down. And you always use bunch of soapy water. Makes it easier for the stuff to uh, get off actually. First mission is the bead breaker right here. Sometimes you get them right away, sometimes you gotta work. Okay, let's see if we get it the first time or we're gonna have to work it. Got a foot switch here, it operates there. Once the bead's broken, it gets a lot easier. Now, we're going to take our spoon. This the tire up. We're going to use more of this stuff. Okay. Got to first pull the first tire up. This is all working off my air compressor over here. Here we go. Foot pedal. How easy that pulled that up. Now we gotta get the second bead, which is in here. Mm, that one's a little stiffer. Lots of lube. Might have to work this one a little. Yeah, that one had a little rust on the rim. That took a little longer. Not bad, though, for a truck tire. These I'll just be selling on Craigslist or getting rid of. All right, so that's the Chevy rim. Now, we got the dually. These are big, big tires. They're about the max this machine can do. Okay. Same deal. Got to break the bead. That time we got it on the first try. There we go. That's amazing having a bead breaker hydraulic on these. This machine is was built in 1967. It's a Coates 1010. Still works great. I paid 295 bucks for this on Craigslist. I've done so many tires on this. 
Save myself so much money. See, with the dually, the tire changer has a pin that comes up that goes in the lug nut hole, kind of holds it in place when it spins. The dually is so high, the pin can't reach it. But I just got to tighten it up a little. First level went off good. The dually is going easier here. So what I'm going to have to do there is I'm going to use the tire iron right here. Well, it's a tool for the machine. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? There you go. This tire I'm getting rid of. This is kind of the, for the bead. You can put tire sealant on there, but you usually don't need it. Just soap it up. Just want to get the water out of the inside here. That could throw your weight off because the water would actually have like weight to it. Make sure nothing got in the inside, like a balance weight or anything. Now, when you mount tires, sometimes they have a directional, but these big truck tires don't, so it really doesn't matter which side I use here. Uh, I need my brush. <laughs> We're gonna wire rim the brush here. Uh, wire, <coughs> wire rim the brush. We're gonna brush the rim. Wire, brush the bead area. They're actually not rusted. These are good. Now we're gonna put a new valve stem on here. I have these. I have a bunch, but you always want to put a new valve stem in when you're doing this. So what you do is you take your razor and you cut it off. Pretty simple, basic. There we go, old one gone. You do need a special tool to do the valve stems. Um, you can't pull them through with a vice grip. And you can run just through the hole there just to kind of make sure it's somewhat clean. So the tool, what it does, you put the valve stem up, screws onto the valve stem, and then literally it just pops it by force into place. Those valve stems are like 40 cents a piece, 30 cents, whatever they are. I buy bags of them and check it to make sure it's seated. Yeah, it's seated. All right. I just leave the balance where it is and I don't have any problems. You can get a bubble balancer. Grab the, uh, I'm gonna do it this way. And a spoon. Sometimes on the first beat, I actually just use my old uh, pry bar. It's almost easier. One last spray. I'll just put like a plain vice grip in place here. Maybe right here. Roughly. Just kind of hold the tire when I put it on. Cap 7, I hope you uh, get your tire changer demo. <laughs> he always asked me to do it. All right, I'll do it one of these times. Today's the day. Here we go. Again. Tire 
fingers on. The lace grip off. That's it. All I gotta do is fill it up with air, which I'll do real quick. Got my hose out there. I'm doing a video for YouTube. Cab 7 always asks me to do a tire. Should pop into place just fine. Sometimes you have to hit it with a hammer, but not this one. And that's it, guys. I just saved myself. I got four of these used tires on Craigslist for 60 bucks. They're 120 each, plus mountain balance. All I did was left the weights in the same place. It'll ride fine. And there you go. I'm a do-it-yourselfer. Green Bay wacky cab seven there's your uh, tire off and on video i did it love you guys hey remember i do comedy videos and all sorts of stuff